Hello there, this is uh, video instructions on uh, Topolino Motora project, six pins. This is how the decoder comes to you. It has handle, sliding button that protects the decoder when you insert and whenever you extract. This is the reset cap. Always here you have the model so you don't confuse it if you have more than one. Reset tool additional tension which helps you actually it helps you open now uh, six uh, independent sliding pins basically you reset and you start in the second part of the video you will see how the procedure is done this is the lock motora project one row single row uh, pins positioned on the left side don't forget here on the back with the reset tool you simply do it like this and here you will find eight square pins they're very very easy to change basically nothing special so you have no problems with that always positioned on the back of the handle now, the most important thing you should understand is the way we reset. To reset, the button is always down, so this thing here doesn't interfere with the reset. So down, arrow here, arrow here. You simply insert, button is always down, again. Here you see the pins and you push them all the way in. Six of them, don't forget. Extracted. You always check if the pins are fully aligned on the top of the horizontal plane. The decoder is, not fully, uh, is now fully reset. To insert it, the button is always up. So this is how you insert, and again, this is how you extract. If the button is down and you try to insert or to extract, you will most probably damage your toe. Of course, again, in the next part of this video, you will see how it's done. Motora Project 6 pins. Topolino Motora Project 6 pins. This is the lock I'm gonna be working on. Okay, so let's reset. The button is slided down, arrow, arrow, insert, make sure the button is down. And now one by one, you see the pins from here, one by one, push them all the way. the pins should look like now the pins in the cylinder lock are located on the left side so the additional tension will be positioned mounted on the right side like this with this with this additional tension you give tension once up once down of course I'm gonna be showing that in a few moments button goes up I always hold it like this. I insert, now button goes down. When the button is down, I'm ready for the procedure. Tension up. Tension down. So, tension down, left. Tension up, left down, left, you hear the clicks, so left, I go again in the neutral position and I release, 
Medium amount of tension. Don't forget the tension is not here in the Topolino handle, it's here. Of course, the faster you do it, the faster will be the opening. Of course, uh, there is no need for such thing. Just make sure you do it correctly so that you can manage to open it. Now, as long as the button is slided back, I'm able to turn it. I go in the straight neutral position, I go with the button up, and now the Topolino decoder is locked. I extract, now button is up, I go again, I go back with the button, and I have the code. The moment the button is up again, nothing. Very easy, very smooth, you just have to do the correct procedure, of course, non-disruptive, uh, opening it keeps the code like at the moment you reset the pins it's gone but for the moment i will have the code for as long as i want to you can see here the pins so i position the tension on the right side the tupulino on the left side and uh, with this this uh, video tutorial is completed. Thank you.